So we're here, some quick tips for you guys. Uh, check out the strategies, check out the warm up. Uh, but here we're gonna go just do some like 10 quick little tips. First one on the rower, when we're starting off, really work on trying to get quick out the gate. So get that rower going. Make sure though when we're doing that, as the chain starts flopping, get that chain back under control. Don't let that thing flop around too much. You're gonna lose a lot of energy with that. Stay very consistent on the rower, slow and steady. Thanks, everyone. Um, the other thing I would look at at the rower too is make sure that your dampener is not set up very high. Uh, this is set up at almost a six, and I feel like that might be too much. I highly recommend that you go into the settings and you check out the drag factor and you see what it's set at. Every day is different based on the dampener and the, the humidity and what's going on in your environment, so it's just slightly different. I highly recommend that you keep it somewhere around 113 to 116. You can get a little ballsy with it and maybe get up to 118, 120, but again, this is not a crucial part of the workout. I'm correlating this workout to uh, a three mile sub 15 minute race. So the first mile is gonna be sub five minute mile. That's a tough ass mile, but knowing that I'm gonna to have to maintain that for two more miles. So when I get out here, it's very important that I know that I'm not gonna gas myself out on the rower. From that, we're gonna make sure that we go over to the toes of bars. When we're looking at the toes of bars, no, no big sets, no big sets. So we looked at this and we found that it's really no different if I'm doing 10 in a row or two sets of five or three sets of three, I'm just one, off by one rep. However, the, the time domain is the same in the sense that it takes me about uh, 30 seconds to do about 10 of those reps. So with that requirement and when we're looking at the toes of bars, we really want to be good about getting up there and getting off. So we're gonna work on, he's gonna show me three toes to bars, getting all the way behind. He's gonna drop, he's gonna come out real quick, he's gonna turn around, and then he's right back up. So that's his transition on his toes to bars. Whether he's doing threes or fives, he's gonna drop, he's gonna come out, he's gonna turn around and come right back up. All right, that's gonna be key for your toes to bars. Doing the backwards fighter thing where you're coming back and then like hanging out on the wall, you're gonna get lost in time. So it's important that you guys Find yourself in a good rhythm, stepping out, stepping in, stepping out, stepping in, all right? So when we look at that, we're gonna go transition to the wall ball. The wall ball is gonna be similar to that row. <laughs> it's gonna require you to try to recover on it. Okay, so the first two parts of the workout are slow and steady. We're doing a two and a half, three minute pace. So it's like three and three, and now we're somewhere around the six minute. I'm gonna make up some time here. I'm gonna probably do this in two to 2.30. And when I'm looking at this, I wanna make sure I take out a big set, all right? Nothing too big, nothing over 20. I would say 17 is a good number. Greek is gonna go ahead, he's gonna come on up here, he's gonna squat below parallel, throwing it up right to the target. No rep them on that first one. But one thing we're gonna look at is that he's not craning his neck. He might gaze his eyes up at the ball, but he's not craning his neck, he's trying to recover, he's just lightly hitting the ball, letting his hands come down with it, absorbing that ball on the way down. Thank you. So, <laughs> that, that being said, he's trying to actually bring his breath back with the ball. If he's rushing it, cranking his neck, not allowing air to get into his esophagus, it's just not gonna work properly. So, this is a good re recovery point. From there, we're gonna go ahead and go into the cleans. Are you gonna do uh, All right, my bad. Yeah, obviously, he says, obviously. Well. So, when we look at the cleans, uh, I don't think we need to do triples or doubles. I feel like I feel like if you start off with singles and just go from there, uh, I think you're fine. If you really wanted to do doubles, I would only do like five sets of doubles, get through your first 10, and then go to singles for the last 20 to recover a little bit. So he's just gonna show us a couple singles. He's gonna work on eyes up, elbows in front, standing up. He's gonna work on trying to get to the bar in two bounces. So one, two, down. So even though it's the third bounce and the fourth bounce are gonna happen, he's still gonna get down there inside of two bounces. The last one, he kind of shoved it down. If you're good at shoving it down, it doesn't require a lot of energy for you, I would recommend that you do that. But if you let it bounce twice, go down and grab it. Now what we do find is that the women bars tend to bounce a little bit more. 
I might put two sets of 15s on there to keep them from bouncing as much. All right? The last thing we got here is the good old muscle up. One of the things here is right when we turn the corner from the muscle up, we want to come right, or sorry, from the clean, we want to come right to the muscle up and try to accomplish one muscle up. This is going to set us up to start going and start understanding what type of rep scheme we're going to be able to handle. So, Greek's going to show us one quick muscle up. Straight arm at the bottom, really pulling himself through, locking out, coming down, controlling the rings, and then he's going to go ahead and step out, kind of like what we were working with the toes of ours. He's going to step back in, and then he's going to give me two if he can handle that. From there, if, he, if he's going to make the decision, okay, well, I'm going to go for a three, or you know what, I'm just going to maintain two. One, two, one, two is a great rep scheme, um, and I, I feel like that is a great way and good transition to get going. I feel like you guys that want to get like five or six, you're going to turn the corner, and you're going to sit here for a second, and you're going to wait until you're ready to do five or six. I think it's more important that you get out there, you do one, step back, and get an understanding of what's next. So those are just some quick tips. Hope they help you out. Good luck. Have fun.